many Eastern Slav, Orthodox, and Catholics follow what's called the Julian calendar, which is a calendar much, much older than the Gregorian calendar, which is also the civil calendar here in the United Kingdom. And when the Ukrainians emigrated here to the United Kingdom, they brought with them their religious traditions and their customs. Christmas, for us, falls on January 7th, but on the Julian calendar, it is really December 24th today. It's simply that the two calendars, the Julian calendar and the Gregorian calendar, are not in sync. The Julian calendar was revised by Pope Gregory the Fourteenth, hence his name, the Gregorian calendar. But the Eastern Slavs were not in union at that time with Rome, and so they tended to keep the Julian calendar. Quite often, when we talk about perhaps changing to the Gregorian calendar, many people say that, well, they certainly would like to be united with their brothers and sisters here in the United Kingdom, the Roman Catholics and the Anglicans and other Christian denominations in celebrating Christmas on the 25th of December. However, what we find is that leading up to the 25th of December, it's very commercialized. We see the ads, we see the beautiful lights, of course, getting ready for Christmas shoppers to get people in the commercial mood. But after all of the presents, after the parties, we can concentrate today and tomorrow and the next few days of the Christmas season on the spiritual aspect. And so in many ways, you know, even growing up as a child in, in Canada, we certainly did have a Christmas party on December 25th, but we knew that we would go to church and celebrate on January 6th for Christmas Eve, for Midnight Mass, and then for Christmas Day. And that seemed not to be so commercial. We didn't exchange presents at that time. Presents were either exchanged on the Feast of St. Nicholas or on December 25th. And so it was really a religious holiday for us. I mean, for myself, growing up on a farm in Western Canada, before Christmas Eve or on Christmas Eve, we have a special 12-course meal that is very common to most Slavic peoples. And, you know, I would be told to wait for the first star to appear. And then my dad would come into the house from the, far from the barns and my mother would have prepared some of our Christmas foods that my dad would take my older brother and my younger brother and myself out to the barns to give some of this special Christmas food to our animals, to the cows, to the pigs, to the chickens, to the ducks. And then we would come in from the cold and my mom would welcome us with the Christ is born, glorify him and invite us to come and sit down to this 12 course meal. And it was very special. And, uh, you know, the songs that we sang were not secular or commercial, but they were very, very religious and spiritual songs. Again, songs that we share with many of the Slavs, Slavic countries. And so on one hand, there is a very good argument. We're living now in the United Kingdom, so we should have our religious services in common with our other Christian brothers and sisters. On the other hand, when we celebrate this way, we can focus our attention on the spiritual aspect of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very challenging year for us. And I was kind of surprised when I would hear government leaders saying that Christmas might be cancelled. How can you cancel Christmas? You mean the commercial or the secular understanding of Christmas would have to be changed. But the celebration of the nativity of our Lord is a celebration that we can celebrate at home, alone with our family. Jesus was born in a place that was very lonely. He was born in a place that was very humble. And so, like Jesus, like Mary and Joseph, 
This year, often many of our faithful will be celebrating alone, without their families, without their friends. And even coming to church is challenging. I'm brand new here. I This is my first Christmas as bishop here in Great Britain. And I was told that my cathedral, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, more than 5,000 of our faithful come to our cathedral. Our cathedral can hold about 800 people. But with social distancing and guidelines, we're only able to admit 150 faithful per service. And so that will be challenging for us. But we ask people to unite themselves in prayer with us. We do live streaming, and it's not perfect, but it's a way of joining oneself, uniting their prayers with our prayers and our prayers with theirs. So many of the people of the United Kingdom have already celebrated Christmas. But Christmas is an event that just doesn't happen once a year. Christmas is the time when we celebrate that God sent his word to be born of a virgin to come into our life to save us. And this is something that we should celebrate not just once a year, but every day. The understanding that God loves us. During our Christmas Eve celebrations, we have a phrase that is sung over and over and over again. And it's, God is with us. Understand all you nations and be humbled, for God is with us.